Have you ever heard of Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy. He was a chess master of the 19th century who revolutionized the game with his brilliant tactics and strategies. He was a child prodigy who quickly rose to become one of the greatest players of his time. But what if we could bring him into the modern age, into the postmodern world of 2023? What would he look like? In today's video, I bring you a painting to emphasize this idea. Morphy was a true genius, and his contributions to the game of chess are still felt to this day. He was a master of the open game a style of play that favored quick development of pieces and aggressive attacks. This style was not widely used before Morphy, and he popularized it with his stunning victories of, over some of the best players of his time. Morphy was known for his ability to see several moves ahead of his opponent, a skill that made him nearly unbeatable. He won the first American Chess Congress in 1857 at just the age of 20, and went on to defeat some of the best players in Europe, cementing his place as one of the greatest chess players of all time. Morphy's legacy lives on and his contributions to the game of chess are still felt to this day. He inspired generations of players and helped to shape the way the game is played. By bringing him into the modern age through art, we can honor his legacy and inspire others to appreciate the beauty of both the old and the new. Here's the finished portrait of Paul Morphy, adapted to the postmodern world of 2023 with all our retro things and cosmic things and AI art. With his intense gaze and the retro future color complex, he is a true masterpiece, wouldn't you say? It's amazing to think that this portrait brings together a chess master from the 19th century into our postmodern 21st century digital world. It's a testament to the timelessness of Murphy's chess genius. Hey guys, behind me here is Antonio Raddick from Agate Matters Chess Channel, and he's a big Morphe fan. As you can see, he's going over the greatest game ever played in his video. Uh, him and I came together and collabed on this cool design here where we took Morphe to honor his legacy and fused him with the power glove from the Nintendo's 80 item. And uh, we kind of made that whole future and past elements fused together. We brought them together in, to make this retro future art style that I kind of do. So, hope you like it, and it's another way to honor the legacy of Morphe. Thank you for joining me on my journey to bring Paul Morphe into the modern age through art. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content on my channel like this.